Leslie? No, no, don't bother about it. I don't know what I want. Disappear for a time. I mean, live on a few pounds a week if you can make them. If not, go hungry. Do that for a year and I guarantee it'll make you fit. That's rather a tall order. Of course, a certain amount of moral stamina would be needed. Now, you think I've no stamina, eh? Well, no hard people. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Bliss. You don't seem to like me. A medical man's time is limited. Besides, there's so much genuine suffering in the world that money would alleviate. If you visit my clinic in the East End, if you can spare the time. I'm being unprofessionally rude, perhaps, because you're the fifth patient I've had here this morning suffering from the same complaint. Too much money. Look here, Sir James. You just refuse to shake hands with me. All right, I'll make you an offer. Your clinic needs money. I'll bet you that 50,000 pounds you say your advice is worth against an apology and an honest handshake that I can take your advice and follow it to the letter. That should be quite a simple matter for you. Your bookmaker, your gunsmith, even your tobacconist might find you a job at a few pounds a week. Not at all. I'll set out with only five pounds. And without driving the slightest benefit from my name, money, or present position, I'll earn my living for a year. And if I do touch my own money, for my own use, you get 50,000 pounds. Big words, Mr. Bliss. Big promises. But I'm afraid I can't take them seriously from you.